Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Yvonne Little and I am a travel agent. And being a travel agent, clients and travelers constantly have questions. And so I would answer a question and then maybe a day or two or three, a week later, another client or potential client has that same question. And so I'd go back and find my original email, copy and paste and send the answer again. So what I'm going to be doing is a series of videos. So th again, thank you for tuning in. And that's gonna cover some of these major topics that the clients are always asking me. So today, quickly, we are going to be covering passports. That's probably my number one out of all of them. Do I need a passport? Do the kids need a passport? Does the dog need a passport? My pet snake, does he need a passport? And so we're going to be covering those. So there are two types of ID that the um, U.S. Um, uh, Department um, is requiring. So um, one is called a passport card, and it's about the size of a credit card. And you can use that um, to travel by land or sea, like say into Canada, into Mexico, into the Caribbean, um, places like that. Um, and, you know, or kids that are um, minors and don't have a driver's license yet. And so it's a great form of ID. You cannot use it to get a visa or to travel by air but you can go into those places that you frequently travel to Mexico, places like that, if, again, if you're going by land or sea. So one of the questions that I always get is because travelers like to take cruises. So can I, you know, uh, do I have to have a passport? Well, you can use the visa, the, the credit card um, size uh, ID as well. Birth certificates were great up until 9-11, but you know, that changed the world as we know it when you travel. The um, thing that I always recommend is the passport book. And that's kind of what this looks like right here. This is your passport book. This is an old one I dug up. Um, and this will allow you to travel internationally by air. So a good way to think of it is if I am traveling by air or have to travel by air, do I need a passport? The answer is yes, internationally. Um, well, let's say you go on a cruise and or you go into Mexico and something, God forbid, happens. Unfortunately, um, there are times when there are some accidents or an uh, individual becomes ill. I know instances where people have stepped off the plane and had a, you know, some type of illness. And so, you, of course, your family and your loved ones wants you back here. And so to travel back into the United States via air, you will need a book passport. So think of it that way. Um, so I always say as a precaution, get the book. The card is fine, um, but get the book. So, and then of course, another question I'm always asked is what about the, the children? A child 16 and under is still considered a minor. They cannot apply for a passport on their own. So the parents will have to show up. You know, you can get these down at the, your local, if they service at your local postal office, or you can do it, you know, by mail. Um, and so you'd go to the, 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 um, the uh, website um, to get that. But my point is, is that if you have a minor child and the child is going to travel internationally, if both parents are on that birth certificate, both parents will need to authorize. So I caution people who, um, you know, you get your dream job in Australia and you want to take your child if that parent's name is on that passport, they may, or I mean on that child's birth certificate, they may say, hmm, sorry, um, you know, I need visitation and I don't wanna have to travel to Australia um, to see my child. So if you have, there are some exceptions, if you have sole custody through court order, things of that nature, you will need to provide those documents when you apply um, for that child's passport. 
So again, those are some of the, the major um, issues um, with children and passports. The pets, you do need to make sure that you have proper documentation regarding all of their, their shots and particularly rabies, things of that nature. Uh, so I hope I have answered um, at least the major questions. Um, again, thank you for tuning in. I know everyone's time is valuable and I don't like to keep you long. Um, I'm just so, so, so appreciative of my clients and for those who trust me um, to provide this information. Thank you all and may God bless you. Um, please um, subscribe to the YouTube channel because there will be lots and lots more information that I will be so happy to provide to you guys. I love doing this. God bless you all again. Have a wonderful day and happy trails. Remember, it is just, you, you just do not want to keep a, uh, a vacation waiting um, because, you know, every day is precious. So pack your bag and go see the world.